Hi, I'm Phil Kurz, reporting for Tech Radar. With me today is Larry O'Connor, CEO and founder of Otherworld Computing. Tech Radar honored his company following CES 2022 for its new OWC Atlas Series media cards and readers. Larry's here today to talk about these new SG cards. Let's get started. Larry, thanks for being here. Hey, appreciate it. Good, good to be here. You've just introduced the Atlas S Pro SD memory card. How does its capacity and read and write speed performance stack up against today's digital photography and 8K video production requirements? Well, for solutions that for cameras and such that use SD, there's nothing faster. And in terms of use, you know, where you need, you know, burst photography, where you're capturing 4K and some solutions that use multiple cards to capture even higher resolutions. You know, these are the cards that you need. I mean, this is inspired by customers and designed for the, for the task you know, at hand. Mm -hmm. uh, what about its write cycles when compared to a typical SD card? You know, reliability and endurance. And, it, and that goes beyond, you know, the average person is not the average Photographer is not going to cycle these cards, you know, thousands and thousands of times, but by having a really high level of endurance, you know, literally the ability to rewrite these cards, you know, close to 30,000 times, you know, it reduces really any probability of a failure when you would least expect it or at least want it. You know, these are built for reliability. They're built for performance. You know, they're built so that you can always count on the frames you've captured on those cards. Could you speak to what the uh, write speeds and the read speeds are on the cards? Sure. You know, these, again, are you know, the fastest V90 cards you know, pretty much in the marketplace today. The speeds that we publish on these cards, which you know, come just shy of 300 megabytes a second, are true real-world sustained rates. They're not theoreticals. They're not burst speeds. These are what these cards do under load and under continuous load. So if that's really important, you know, whether you're in a high uh, performance in a, in a, in a high-speed capture situation, or when it comes time to ingest, when you want to be able to read the data off the cards. And something else we found through testing, you know, we certainly went out and compared ourselves to other cards out there. And also, uh, you know, we made use of different readers that you know, were popular in the market. And we're really excited to find out that not only are our cards the fastest, you know, pretty much on the planet, but the readers that we built into our Thunderbolt docs, and we've been including readers now for about eight years in various doc solutions, they also happen to be the fastest readers on the planet. So if you have our card and you have our doc, you've got a combination that gives you truly the highest performance possible for reading and writing those cards or post capture. And certainly will keep up and, and match up with any reader that's on the market today. So you mentioned real world speeds and real world performance. Uh, could you give me a little more background about, you know, how you determine that? Where, in other words, where do these numbers come from? Now, we actually do real testing. This is testing, you know, in cameras for capture and, cre and, and creating real media and then ingesting that media and testing, reading and writing, that kind of media to the cards. Now, these aren't theoretical. I mean, this is using real media, you know, real capture. And not just this is the fastest speed and that's what we're going to publish. You know, these are the sustained data rates across those cards, you know, in a real world environment. You know, we've got a wide array of, of storage solutions, you know, from internal to external and, and, and now these media cards. The data rates that we show in the actual benchmarks are from actual data testing, not just, well, it's a 40 gigabit interface that can do this many megabytes a second. No, this is what this specific solution with these drives performs, which is why each of the solutions, when you go through a site, you know, you'll find individual benchmarks that relate to, well, that's what that config, how that configuration performs on that interface. So without getting too deep into the weeds, can you tell us about pseudo single level cell, also known as PSLC, and how its use in the Atlas S Pro series affects performance and durability? Certainly, effectively, we start with a TLC cell, but we're using it in a pseudo SLC mode. So you, it reduces its data capacity, but it substantially enhances its performance, its performance stability, and most importantly, the reliability. The write cycle, the, the wear on an individual cell in pseudo mode is substantially lower than when it's in TLC mode. And as a result, again, you have that reliability, high performance, and that longevity, which you know, we find very, very important. 
it's like anything else. You know, if you're on the road driving, you, know, you don't wait until the tires are bald. You know, this gives you a solution where you can go high speed around that track, but it's going to be a very long time before you know, you've been worried about changing the tires. And as a result, you're always safe with your data. You're always safe with you know, that creative capture that you have in the field. So for those watching who might not be familiar with OWC and your previous memory solutions and their current as well, uh, can you bring us up to speed on what your company's background is? Sure. For over 33 years, we've been creating technology that, you know, its, it's purpose has been to make existing technology faster and allow people to get more from the technology they have. You know, our very first products were actually memory upgrades, you know, way back in the 80s. You know, since then, you know, we've gone in accelerators, processor upgrades. You know, we built the first Sandforce solid state drives, you know, back, you know, in 2010. So we have a, a long history in memory and NAND and in this category that we're really, really excited to uh, you know, bring into you know, these SD cards. But beyond that, I mean, we go from you know, basic memory and, and basic you know, external storage all the way up to enterprise arrays and beyond. So for home users and all the way up to major you know, motion picture production, our solutions have, you know, have many, many places you can, you can find them. All right. Well, that's all we have time for. Larry, thanks for filling us in on your company and the Atlas S Pro SD memory card. And thank you, too, for watching. Reporting for Tech Radar, I'm Phil Kurz.